my name is Darcy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have had two rotator cuff surgeries. Uh, the second one that I had was at the very end of January, so I am now eight weeks post-surgery. So I thought it would be a good time to talk about the medication that I've taken since my surgery and what I feel was helpful and just let you know what you might expect if you're going to have rotator cuff surgery. Uh, there are some medications that the doctor prescribed for me, some that I got over the counter, and uh, I will go somewhat in depth, or at least I'll let you know what they are. Because uh, the pharmacist, especially for uh, the ones that are prescribed, the doctor, um, surgeon, and the pharmacist definitely will go in depth on those medications. And I'm gonna leave that up to them. That it's definitely not my area of expertise. I am neither a physician, or a pharmacist. This is oxycodone. This is what, um, it's a Percocet. It's oxycodone and acetaminophen, which is Tylenol. And it's a combination of the narcotic and then also the uh, Tylenol, basically, acetaminophen. And uh, I found that the oxycodone provides really good pain relief. I know a lot of people have something different. They might have something called Norco. Um, but I think that what's important is that you just make sure that your uh, physician or your surgeon knows maybe what has or has not worked with pain control for you in the past, if you know. Um, and then he'll really base it on that. Very common side effects with oxycodone is that you can become really, really uh, nauseated. And I think that's because of the constipation. Oh my goodness just like the nausea and the constipation were so severe with both of my surgeries. They were so severe. I'll show you what I took with the constipation. I took this, this is docusate. What the active ingredient is docusate sodium. And uh, it's just a stool softener. Took this as prescribed. This is Miralax, the generic for Miralax. So Miralax is gonna be the same active ingredients as this, um, polyethylene glycol, and it is an osmotic laxative. Uh, it doesn't really taste. I mixed it up and drank it with water. Um, I just made sure that I followed the instructions. Uh, really everything, all of these medications, I, I didn't take them not as prescribed. So as often as they prescribed, as they were prescribed and uh, in the way that they were prescribed. It's a full glass of water. It doesn't have a flavor. Um, it is, um, I found it to be kind of effective. It would like make me have like a lot of like stomach movement, but it never produced a bowel movement, which was the point. And so I don't know if it really ended up helping in my situation. Um, I've since seen some videos about Senna. I've seen that Senna can be a uh, bowel mover. So it is something that can uh, encourage this, the movement of your bowel, I guess. And so what these other ones did is they were a laxative or they were a stool softener, but they didn't actually encourage kind of just the, that movement in your bowel. So uh, with the narcotic basically making your bowel, making my bowel completely stop, things were just backing up. So yeah, maybe the stool was soft, but it wasn't going anywhere. So uh, that was kind of a sad thing. And so, after many, many, many days of just so much discomfort and I started weaning myself off of the Percocet, which was the narcotic, I decided to do this. This is the generic, but the same active ingredients as what's in a fleet enema. This is what it looks like. It's already all in one saline enema. And the instructions are very clear. It is helpful to have somebody with you to help you, although you could do it alone. Probably don't leave your bathroom after you use this. This was the ticket that I needed to unconstipate myself. It was so uncomfortable, I thought I really was gonna die because of the discomfort. I mean, it was like a knife was in my stomach and I really did wonder if I was gonna have my bowel be perforated I mean, the, it, the pain was so intense. It didn't matter if I was taking the pain uh, medicine 
for my shoulder, the pain in my stomach was so much greater than that. Then at that point, I decided that I was not going to take any more of the narcotic and, and I switched to Tylenol and Ibuprofen. This is Meclizine, anti-nausea. It's compared to, it's a generic for Dramamine. This is Ondansetron, which is a generic for Zofran, which is also an anti nausea that was prescribed to me this is something that i don't think you can get over the counter but after i stopped taking the narcotic i switched to over the counter ibuprofen and acetaminophen which is tylenol what i did is that i took a dose of ibuprofen also a dose of acetaminophen i would guard against taking more than they say more than four grams of tylenol or acetaminophen a day i would definitely say don't go to that limit i would caution against that um, I made sure that my limit, I stayed no more than two grams. If you take two of these, you're at one gram because two 500 milligrams is one gram of acetaminophen. And um, if you're taking a, a medication such as Percocet or Norco, please double check that you're not taking too much acetaminophen because those have acetaminophen already in it. So then if you're taking these on top of it, you are going to uh, make it really difficult on your liver and you can cause yourself some extra problems. So please pay attention to the dosing. I took Tylenol and I took ibuprofen every three hours. So imagine uh, that a clock, 12, three, six, and nine. I would take, like for example, at midnight, I would take a Tylenol at 3 a.m. I would take an ibuprofen. At 6 a.m. I would take a Tylenol. At 9 a.m. I would take, anyway, I would alternate every other one. Another thing I wanted to show you is after I got my packing off my shoulder and I got the sutures removed, um, all my incisions were healing and kind of uh, the edges were coming together. I started putting like cream on my shoulder just to kind of help with the scarring and also for muscle relief. And I have doTERRA deep blue. I think any kind of a whatever works for you, whatever muscle rub you want to use. The, the motion of rubbing my shoulder and just the massage has been very healing and it helps. The last thing I wanted to uh, mention is ice. Ice is so helpful and I don't even know what I would do without um, ice. Ice is not technically a medication, but I think it should be. It was so wonderful. I have like a, a quick ice pack that I keep in the freezer that I put on that gives me like 30 minutes of cold. And then I also have a pretty big heavy duty ice machine. I'll go ahead and show that one to you right now. Well, I'm gonna show you about my ice machine. This is a pretty big contraption. It's like a, a little cooler. This plugs in to your outlet and then this plugs in right here. The lid is locked in place. Then you can take the handle down and now you can take the lid off. So this comes off with the cord or whatever this gizmo is. So the whole lid comes off and this is almost like a straw that sucks up the cold water. You fill this According to the packaging and the directions, you'll fill it with water and ice. The brand is Bragg Polar Care Glacier. When I was using this all the time, I didn't, I wasn't able to use my right hand at all. It was like in the shoulders, in, in my sling. I could kind of use it, but I didn't have any strength in my arm. So what I would do is I would take this and kind of sandwich it between my legs. And then I would take this and kind of like force it to go in. So I'm gonna do it with just the one hand so you can see. Good grief, this is hard. Whew, oh my goodness. That was a workout. If you never wanted to do that, you could attach it and then if you ever need to walk anywhere like go to the restroom or go to the kitchen to grab food you would just take this with you and pick it up and cart it along with you and you, so you'd have like your hand in a sling and then you just be carrying this with you so this goes here and you can hear the sound it's starting right away there's a dial and it lets you know how cold you want it so this is a shoulder attachment it goes on your shoulder you want it to go around your arm, and so there's attachment here. It'll go 
Then there's like a medium sized one and it even has a number on it and it tells you where to attach it to. There's a three here, I'm gonna attach it there. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna reach underneath my arm. So as you can see, if you had a sling on, you would definitely want somebody to be there to help you. Um, I would also recommend that you have somebody be with you for the first, I'd say 72 hours after surgery. I'm reaching around my back and this is where I got it wrong for a while. They have this really long band and I was putting it over my shoulder where my sling was and then as you can see, it's supposed to attach to this one and look how much excess I have. So what I realized is that it's supposed to go around your uh, rib cage and then come up here like this. Ta-da! So now you have, and you can adjust it and make it fit tighter by, like if you don't like how loose it is, you can make it go a little tighter and just really suck it to yourself. And then you go around and this is constantly keeping your shoulder cold for hours. I mean, this lasts, I would put it on at nighttime and it would last me almost all night long until morning and I would just sleep with ice going to my shoulder. I would caution you, you don't want this to be touching your skin because as you can see, I'm gonna show you up close. This is basically where the cold, cold water is going constantly. It's sucking in and going out. You can hear the machine going. And if this were to touch your skin and the ice would like come into contact with your skin for a long time, you could get frostbite. I folded a pillowcase in half because it's really soft material against my skin and then that would be a barrier between me and this. You can also adjust the cold settings here. This would be the number one thing I would say. Get one of these. I used it constantly for my first surgery. I used it constantly for my second surgery. It has been such a blessing. I love this. It is difficult to walk around with it, but just the pain control is so amazing that it's worth it. If you have any questions, put them down at the bottom in the comment section. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.